I wanted to make a quick video on how to use Screencastify. Screencastify is an extension that you can add to, by going to the Chrome Web Store and searching it and adding it to your Chrome. As you see, mine has already been added. When it's added successfully, it's up in the upper right hand corner as an orange arrow with a video inside of it. If I wanted to, I could click on this record extension and it would give me three choices. I could just record the browser that I'm currently in, this tab, meaning that if I went to a different one during the recording, it would be black. I could record my entire desktop, meaning I could navigate through all the tabs that I have open here, or just my face with a webcam. I am gonna choose to do desktop. As you can see, my microphone is turned on and I can tell it's working because the green um, bar is tossing. I can embed a webcam of my face if I would like to, and there are more options here, changing countdowns, allowing drawing tool, system audio, and webcam preview. When I'm ready, I hit record. I click on my screen to highlight it, and I choose to share it. I get a countdown, and a toolbar appears over here. I have a couple of different options in my toolbar. If I'm recording in Screencastify, I can hit pause if I want to stop and collect my thoughts, and then I can hit play when I'd like to record again. I can change the look of my mouse. I can make it a focus mouse. I can make it a no-show mouse, meaning that if I don't move it, the mouse will eventually disappear. Or I can make it a uh, red circle upon my click. And every time I click my mouse, red appears. I also have annotation tools. I could choose the color I want, but then I can actually move and write here if I wanted to during my recording. There is an eraser that can erase anything that you don't want on there. And then when I feel like I'm done with my recording, I can come up here and click on the extension again and hit stop. I could make it a no-show mouse, meaning that if I don't move it, the mouse will eventually disappear. Or I can make it a red circle upon my click. And every time I click my mouse, red appears. I also have annotation tools. I could choose the color I want, but then I can actually move and write here if I wanted to during my recording. There is an eraser that can erase anything that you don't want on there. And then when I feel like I'm done with my recording, I can come up here and click on the extension again and hit stop. When you're done with your screen classify video, a new tab will open up, giving you a preview screen of what you've recorded. It might be quiet, but you have to click to unmute it, and then it'll give you some settings over here on the right hand side to pick from. You can make it to your Google Drive, and if you show more options, you can choose which setting you would like to put it at. You can view it in your drive. You can publish it to YouTube or share to Classroom. When you are, when it's, you're a first time user, you might not know that Screencastify, once you use it for the first time, makes its own folder automatically for you in your Google Drive. So you can click on it and see all of the folders all of the videos that you have recorded um, all at once, okay? And that's really how you use Screencastify. And if you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask.